to today's video. Just an FYI, my ears are plugged. So it happens to me every summer, I get allergies, and yesterday I was cutting down these weeds. It does it to me every year. So I'm gonna try and fix it this weekend. I have to flush my ears. It's a pain, but anyways. Six long weeks ago, Sam started on this journey to get a new car. His truck blew up and he decided, okay, well, all of my truck is being repaired, then I will just get a car and I'll drive it back and forth to work. And then we decided that since Gabby's so close to getting her license, that the car that he gets, he'll just give to Gabby after and it'll be her first car. So it seemed to be like the perfect situation. Shopping to find a car and we let Gabby choose and she found a car that she was in love with. So Sam put it all into work. He said, I'm, I'm gonna buy it, I'll take it, whatever. And then it took six weeks, you guys, for this company to get it together. And finally, in the end, Sam said, listen, it's been a month that I've been trying to buy this car because how it works here is that once you say you're gonna buy it, they send it to the shop and then they do all the things that it needs, like they safety it, I guess is what it's called. It's two weeks ago, Sam finally said to the company, listen, if this car is not done by next week, I, I'm not gonna buy it. Like this is getting to be ridiculous. I find that since COVID, people have become way more relaxed in their business dealings and way more hard to, like it's so much harder to buy stuff, to find stuff, to get stuff. Like it's just crazy. So anyways, Sam said, if the car's not ready by Wednesday, I don't want it anymore, forget it. And then all of a sudden, they started to get this car ready. They started to do all the things that they needed to do to prepare it, and it wasn't ready for Wednesday. They called Sam on Wednesday, and they said, we had to order a couple of parts, don't worry. The car is re it's gonna be ready by Friday, I promise. And Sam said, okay, fine. If the car's not ready by Friday, then I don't want it. So today is Friday, and we are going to pick up Gabby's very first car ever, the one that she chose in the color that she wanted, because she had a choice. And uh, we're gonna take you guys along with us. It is so cute, Gabby. Is it washed? It's wet. Uh, it was raining yesterday. Oh. Yeah. So cute. Wow, you guys. Daddy's new car it smells like a new car. And then it's got new tires. Are you excited? That's it though. That's Gabby's new car. I love it. Make it look super sporty. There she goes. So Gabby doesn't actually get to start driving until April on her birthday uh, if she gets her G1, which is like her learner's permit. So she's not going to be able to drive the car for a few months. But you know, Time goes by fast. And though she can't drive that car right now, I'm still excited for her. I think it's exciting. And Sam has already asked Sophie, like, what kind of car are you gonna get when you're 16? And she has it all planned out. I love going on these little journeys with my kids. Horse, done. First car, done. Time is flying. All right, so now I'm in Gabby's car. I'm all alone, I'm waiting for them. It's super fancy in terms of, it's got this key bob thing, these key bobs. And oh, she's got two. And basically, it's a push start. So Sam has been renting a truck for the last month and he just dropped it off. And we're headed to the barn to see our boys and I have some news to tell you. Are we like, riding with Shayla? Yeah, we're riding with Shay. It's almost like he lives here, just thinks that he owns the whole barn. <laughs> this cat's been here for a long time, a lot of years. So, girls are going to get their horses and I'm gonna try and explain. Like sometimes when we're here, so much is going on. It's just hard for us to, it's hard for me to explain everything. So the other day you guys saw that we got these saddles. I brought these saddles and somebody's asking like, but you have a saddle fitter. Why aren't you using the saddle fitter? And we are using a saddle fitter. So she's looking for saddles for us, but then I called our tech store and said like, this is the kind of saddle I'm looking for. And they found me some. And then the saddle fitter said, sure, I'll be there and help you guys fit them. But, then she had a family medical emergency and and that's the thing like that kind of stuff happens and so she couldn't come and she couldn't she couldn't fit them so i had these saddles on loan from the tax store and we couldn't fit them so we tried them with brandon tried them the way they were both of them are adjustable and neither of them fit the way they were both of them would probably fit 
being adjusted, but I don't feel comfortable adjusting a saddle. So I'm gonna just take them back because I don't feel comfortable holding saddles here either. I have to get Gabby to put it in. I'm not like, I'm not good at this kind of stuff. I'm not even joking. I love your little hair clip though. Okay. Don't get wrecked. <laughs> I get paranoid holding stuff that I don't own. Hi, handsome. Hi. Yeah, he's tied. <laughs> Dance was standing at the round bell with his friends and he was standing over with my cuddles. So he was like this trying to not touch me. <laughs> I wish and I could go I first. I walked him through uh, a little bit of mud and he stopped. He would not move. Wow, when we first, like, when uh, he, he first came to this barn, he was walking through big mud puddles. He couldn't have cared I, less. Now, he even now want all of a sudden, like everybody said, horses always change. And it's true. Like, when they come here, they're uh, when they first move, it's like they're always on their best behavior. And they're always like, oh, I better behave because I don't know this place. Once they learn the place, they like pull out every thing they can do, <laughs> just like a child. He didn't run away from me this time, though. Oh, that's good. Okay, so let's talk about the saddle thing. I've had some really amazing people message me privately and explain like saddle issues and saddle fit stuff from their experience, like from their expertise I've level. Oh, so interesting. Like, I've learned a lot on the saddle journey. And I the was biggest. I his neck and he was like, oh, that feels so good. Yeah, he, he loves to be massaged and anyways so the biggest lesson that I learned about the saddle fit is that I am not a saddle fitter I'm not patient I'm not like I we gave up Sam and I gave up I was saying to Sam like I'm so frustrated with the whole saddle thing she wants to ride but we're but we don't want to ride him in saddles that are ill-fitting, like for him or for Sophie. So she's like been riding the least amount. If he's not in the saddle, he will not trot. Yeah, which we understand. But anyway, so, so Sam said, I called the saddle fitter. Call the saddle fitter. I'm like, you know what? Okay, fine, I'll do it. I called him. We caved and Sophie's getting a custom saddle for him. I don't like custom saddles. Why? Because then you have to break them in. Yeah, that's true. So. I'm putting stirrups on that. Yeah, so anyways. We know he's not our horse, and it, getting a custom saddle is I kind mean, of a waste of if money. It doesn't work out, and we get another girlfriend. So basically, when so I told talked to the saddle fitter, and he's gonna come. Like he's a different kind. He works for the company, so he's gonna get him a custom saddle, fit him for a custom saddle. And basically, they have other programs that we didn't use before. Like when we bought Sophie her very first custom saddle, she was nine years old. Which was so dumb because obviously she's gonna grow and change, but she still fits that saddle, but her horse doesn't. So they have a program that you can lease a saddle, which is basically it's like for kids under 18. You pay a, a fee, it's like around a thousand dollars, and then they come and they fit a saddle and they make them a saddle. And then if she outgrows it or he outgrows it, then we can trade it in and get another saddle. And you have to pay like a fee each time. But in the long run, I think this is just easier for us and worth it for us. Aw. <laughs> He's like, let me just rest my head on your bum, please. <laughs> All right, so anyways, that's what we decided. So he's coming, he thinks Monday, and we'll do like a saddle video for you guys if my you're interested in seeing day. it. What? My lesson day? Yeah, it'll be during the day though. So we'll come earlier and then you'll have your lesson probably, hopefully, or he'll do it after your lesson. I tried all the other ways and it's just not working for us. You know what one I'm gonna get? What one are you gonna get? The plain one. Yeah, so, so Sophie I likes like plain. Them. Before I liked the colored ones, but after I got the plain one for I love the plain. She loves plain, but you never know. We'll see. It's only a couple of days till the saddle guy comes. Get the pineapple passion fruit drink from Starbucks. It's really good. As long as you don't feel sick if you drink pineapple or coconut, mm. because I feel sick after drinking mine. So the other thing I love about custom saddles, getting a custom saddle, this is Gabby's, is that as your horse changes state shape, you can call the guy to come back and reassess the fit on your on your horse. Like, those are the things that I need. I need that. And you know what? I could learn saddle fit. I already learned so much about the saddle fit. Like, the saddle fitter that we were using from the barn, oh, she is amazing and taught me so many things. I could probably do it. I could probably do all of it. But 
the thing is, for me, I would always worry that I made a mistake and that the horse is in pain. That's always what drives me, always thinking like, what if he's in pain, what if he's in pain? Like, if he did anything bad or any kind of behavior, I'd be like, oh no, I messed up the saddle. And buying a saddle is an expensive thing. So I don't want to put myself in a position to make a mistake. Does that make sense? So that's why I we decided like, we're just gonna go with the fitter. Look it, they're in unison. They were putting jumps up for Shay in perfect unison. Look at that happy boy. <laughs> He's like, who are you calling happy? <laughs> like we've had this horse for two months now, two and a half months. And she's had literally like a handful of rides on him because of all the problems trying to get the saddle right. And, and we're taking our time. Like we were building up his weight at the beginning and then still trying to get the saddle fit. Like she's okay with taking her time. She's okay with taking steps back. She's still getting to ride Denver. She's still getting to show. She's still getting to do all the things and learn all the things she needs to learn. And she's loving this journey with him right now. Oh, I also forgot to mention that while he's here, he might be able to send Sophie's saddle in and get new, get it refitted for Chance. And that's an option too. This will be Chino's first ride inside a for a long time. All right, so Gabby's doing a flat ride. Working on endurance and just flatting today. So we took the saddles back and Sophie's gonna do a haul for you really quick. Okay, so I wanted this forever since last Since week. last Wednesday. Two days ago she saw this at the store but we didn't have time. So she got this hoodie. Let's see the, what's on the sleeve? Um, Wrangler, huh? Oh, interesting. And then also what she ended up getting, she got new show breeches that are not ripped. If you guys saw the last show video, she ripped them. And then she got black ones as well. And she has blue ones. And she has two, gray, two pairs of gray. So now she has one, two, three, four, five. Plus I sewed her other ones like this that she could wear when. Yeah, I probably will because when me, I was like to match. She always wears tan breeches. Yeah. But anyway, so she got two pairs of breeches and a new hoodie at the tech store today. But if you guys notice, as soon as I start to walk, to the chicken coop, they all come running to the door and they all get so excited. For today's special treat, hold on here, hold on. Wow, you're getting pushy, Missy. All right, so for today's special treat, I have watermelon. Any other takers? I think this is a rooster. It's watermelon. <laughs> my favorite part of the day <laughs> and the noisiest part of the day don't you know that you're beautiful?